Hey everyone, it's Lori. I am going to do a what you don't see coming uh, reading. Okay. Love, money, friendship, career, health, blessings, uh, warnings, months of the year of importance. Let's go ahead and get started. All right. So you may be dealing with Gemini, Aries, Cancer, Aquarius, Virgo, or Scorpio, or all of the above, okay? I hope you guys are all happy, healthy, and doing well. So let's go ahead and see what it is you don't see coming. I have pre-shuffled all decks, I believe, but I do want to give them a little bit of waking up here just to make sure. All right. This is going to be interesting. You guys seem to really like this uh, style message last week, so I'm going to do this weekly for you. And you can expect it on Sundays for now, okay? All right. Let's go ahead and cut the deck. Don't forget, if uh, anything resonates with you in the reading, to give the message a thumbs up. Claim it if it's yours, if it makes sense to you. If it does not resonate, just leave it, okay? You can take any portion of it that makes sense and leave the rest, okay? Not every message is meant for everyone. So, every time. All right. Let's go ahead and keep moving here. I hope you guys are doing well. I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. If you are a Libra, you are my biggest fans. I love you guys to pieces. If you are a cross watcher or a channel fan, thank you so much for being here. It means you've, it's especially great because that means uh, you're coming in for other reasons. So don't forget to che check your birth charts too because you have other signs in your birth chart and you need to know those things okay so whoever you are you're always welcome here and i appreciate you being here by the way the deck here i'll go this order the first deck is the tarot of dreams by cyril marchetti okay the next deck the white one is the celtic dragon tarot deck the one with the butterflies on it, can you guess, is called the Chrysalis Tarot, okay? And this one is the, oh, I always get this wrong. It's the Familiar's Tarot. And then the one I'm holding right now is the Good Tarot. All right. I'm having a fun time trying to shuffle these today. All right, let's get right into your reading here. Now, remember, please, I am not a financial advisor and I am not a doctor. Anything that comes out in this reading is for you to interpret the way it resonates with you. It is not meant to scare anybody um, or tell you what to do with your finances, career, job, or anything else, okay? Take it as it resonates and leave the rest. All right, so in your romantic love life, Okay, we're going to do friendships here. So this is strictly romantic love life, okay? We have the Two of Swords, the Ace of Cups, and the Six of Cups. Interesting. Interesting. This is the Holy Grail, okay? And this is the Cup of Nostalgia, so innocence, a return to feelings of awe and excitement and wonder about living and joy and happiness and using your imagination and making friends easily, okay? So there may be, I'm, I'm getting a strong sense right now that there is a um, soulmate coming in for somebody. We've got Scorpio energy here. We have got... Uh, Libra here, okay? And we've got the sun and the moon, which talks about being perfect counterparts. So there is a soulmate coming in here for somebody. You may not see this. Well, the whole reading is about what you don't see coming. So you don't see this person coming. 
Okay, you do not know that they are coming into your life. And this is going to be a very healthy, happy relationship. The Holy Grail. This is about seeing things from a completely different perspective in every and all, um, every and any aspect of your life. Okay. I'm also hearing that this is very healing, um, helps you to connect with your intuition. Yeah, this feels really, really good. If you are already involved with somebody romantically, this is about um, elevating to the next level and you don't see it coming. So like somebody may pop a question, okay, uh, like marriage, or they may say, do you want to become a um, dedicated couple, you know, not date anyone else? Do you want to move in together? Do you want to meet my parents? There's an elevation here. There's a, a sense of expansion, of wonder, of joy, happiness. You may be invited to do something with this person that uh, is really exciting to you. Okay, so this is really good. I'm going to leave it that way. All right. So with your money, this is not career. This will be career. Okay. This is strictly money. So if you're investing money, anything like that, or you've been broke, this is what the, uh, you don't see coming. Wow. Ten of cups, the king of cups and the six of wands. Holy, you just hit the jackpot. Oh my goodness. You can't ask for better financial. And again, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm telling you what the tarot is saying about your finances. There is a victory here. Six of wands, king of cups, emotional satisfaction in every cent. I mean, look at that. Look at that. That energy is huge. And then to get the Ten of Cups, this is all about abundance, getting everything that you could want. This is rainbows and candy drops, whatever that song used to be. I used to love that song. Um, but you've got like, this is incredible. Okay. This also is talking about being um, abundance, not just for the moment, but something that is going to last. You have children here. You have the parents here. But you can see them looking towards their guardians, their higher power. And look, the higher power is producing more and more abundance here. That is incredible. Oh, my goodness. This, whatever you are involved in, you are about to hit the jackpot here. Okay. Now, again, I'm not telling you to do anything. Spirit's not telling you to do anything. This is spirit saying that this is an outcome that you don't see coming, okay? Something really good is coming your way financially. That is incredible. That is absolutely beautiful. All right. <laughs> oh, wow, talk about excitement. All right, this is about friendships. So this is any relationship, any relationship that is not romantic, okay? So co-workers, families, friends, the person at the checkup counter at the store, okay? This can be any type of relationship that you encounter. All right, you have the Eight of Pentacles, you have the Seven of Cups, and you have the World card. What I'm hearing is, is with a little effort, you can open up some major opportunities here for yourself and for others that will bring in huge success. It's going to be a transformative energy, okay? And it's only going to take a minimal effort because you've already, like, you've, you've expanded your, I'm hearing um, open-mindedness, your inclusiveness, so may, what I'm hearing is that in the past, um, when you were searching or looking for a tribe or looking for friends, that you kind of were looking in a very narrow place, okay? Like, 
only at a bar. Okay, this is just an example. Like, you, you were like, okay, I, I can make new friends by going out to the bar. Okay? And that was the only place you were ever looking for new friends. Now, you kind of broadened your horizons here. So, now you know you can meet friends at the grocery store. Okay? Because you're you're thinking differently than the way you used to. You've opened your mind to new ideas, new people. Okay? Um getting involved in an activity, a physical activity, like a sport. You can meet new friends through that, okay? I'm also hearing that if you dump the, this is weird, if you dump the pot out, you can start fresh with someone. Like, that means to let the past go. Okay, get rid of whatever was not working in the relationship. And that happens with all types of relationships. Some just get so old, we don't, you know, and we just hang on to them for no reason. But there's somebody here that if you literally, <laughs> I'm literally seeing taking a bucket outside and dumping like dirty mop water out. Okay, if you're doing that right now, this must be a message for you. Okay, and and spirit is saying just let go of whatever it was that um, caused the rift in the past, and I'm I'm getting that this is really old. Like you you don't even you may still talk to this person, but like more on a hey how you doing? Oh hey yeah okay, but you two could become very close because you both have opened your mind to different things. You've expanded. You've grown. You're not the same people. And this could be a soulmate energy here that the spirit is telling me about. So dump out the pot. Don't let it, you know, <laughs> that could mean something else too, if that means something to you. Okay. For most of you out there, this is about putting a little bit of effort in to see things in a different place. Okay. Meet people in different places. Go to different places. Open up your opportunities to meet people. Don't focus on the negative. Focus on all the other benefits. Okay. I mean, there's one cracked mirror, but there's all these other opportunities. Okay. Every item in this uh, picture is meant to be an option, a choice. So, just because it's the biggest and brightest doesn't mean that's the one you should go for. But this is where your focus has always been. And now you're starting to notice these other opportunities to meet new people. Okay. Beautiful. I like that. And look, you, you transform. You expand. You become bigger. You become abundant and happy and joyful and feeling connected. This is the world. So you've, you're ending a cycle of not having a tribe or, you know, not clicking with the right people or not finding friends. Whatever it is, you are successful this time. That is beautiful. I absolutely love this. This whole reading is really nice. I mean, <laughs> that's inc incredible. Soulmate for sure coming in here. I do feel that for some of you, there is a soulmate out there. Okay. And it's going to be transformative. All right. Those of you seeking work or looking to start your own business, this is about work, okay? It doesn't have to be about how you make money. It has, well, it has to do with your life purpose or your work, okay? Let's put it that way. All right, so we have the Page of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the Queen of Swords. Wow, wow, wow. You have found your self-worth. You know exactly who you are. You have found an inner voice. You have found your authenticity. And you are speaking your truth. Okay? That's all there is to that. You are speaking your truth. You are being very clear about who you are, what you want. You know your purpose in life now. You want to help people. You want to elevate people. You want to do things honorably, the right way. Look at the intuition here. This cat and this owl, you are bringing things together, okay, that don't normally come together. You're doing this, though. And it, 
It's through your, your belief in your higher power. You know, I mean, these two are talking to each other. I don't know if you can hear them, but I can. Okay, and a, a, a bird and a cat are talking to each other, but they're not using words. They're not saying meow and hoo hoo. <laughs> oh, that might be a funny conversation. Um, but they're speaking intuitively through, like, I'm getting the messages here. And you are trusting your divine power to that level. Okay, you know how to make things happen now. All right, here is the connection. This is the Page of Pentacles. This is the one that comes in with it, solid seed. And this is you planting the seed, okay? You are going to build something big and beautiful from this idea that you have. That's what that seed is, is your idea of bringing people together, okay? Unity. We've got three wolves here, okay? These are three strong entities but it's your um it's the trinity it is you know the father the son the holy ghost it's all energies brought together the id the ego and the psyche okay the intuition the imagination um all of it you are connected and you know what you have to offer the world is going to be good for the world that is beautiful so what I'm hearing is a lot of you are finding your life purpose. You are starting to finally um, maybe branch out, maybe give it a try, see how you want to develop what you consider to be your purpose. Okay, so say you start off as I want to be a, a healer or a life coach and you start in that um Sorry, you start developing that, like you give it some learning, you do some learning about that, or you start helping people however you can. Um, but then as you're doing this, you may discover, oh, I really like doing this, which still has to do with this original idea. I love those two neighbors. This is about eight times a day. Okay, so you you branch off. It may not be the original idea that you end up with, but the seed is there, and whatever you end up doing, okay, will still be based on that idea, that original idea of helping people, of wanting to do um, the right thing, trusting your intuition, maybe helping connect other people to their higher power. Love this. All right, so for health. Again, I'm not a doctor, so whatever comes out, do not let it scare you. You know, do not make let it com make you complacent. If you have health issues, address your health issues, okay? All right, we have the Five of Cups. We have the Fool and the Empress. You're looking good. Whatever may have been worrying you in the past, okay? Whatever health issues you may have had, you have, um, I'm getting some of you tried a, a new medication or something. And, and instead of a medication, you went holistic. This is past energy, okay? Even though this is something you don't see coming, this is done, okay? So um, you tried so something unconventional for you. So if you're used to traditional medicine, you may have tr tried holistic. If you were holistic, you may have tried um, traditional. You may have tried something else. It doesn't matter, but you tried something different. And it definitely has brought you back to feeling whole, complete, healthy, abundant, okay? You're feeling good. So it looks like your health is headed in the right direction. Again, if you are sick, make sure you consult with your doctor before you change anything or do anything. I am not responsible for your health. You are the only one. All right, let's go ahead and get some messages here. Since we have romance, let's ask the romance oracles, romance angel oracles for some messages for you. Let's see what they have to say. This is a really, really nice reading. I I can see this resonating with a lot of you. So don't forget, thumbs up, claim it. Oh, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel and you're considering, we would love to have you join us. Uh, we have an awesome community here, and we would really like it if you subscribe to the channel and joined us. Also, memberships are open. 
if you're interested in that. Um, I will be doing a uh, live meeting this week, okay? That is one of the perks of being a member. Another one is uh, discounts on readings. Okay, so let's go ahead, see what the angel answer oracle messages are for you today. The first one says, let go of control issues. So there might be something happening in your life that is keeping you, oh, okay. That is, okay, you don't see this coming. You don't see this really good relationship coming. So Spirit wants you to know to um, kind of relax, have fun, be playful. And I, I have a feeling that card's going to come out next too. Just to uh, don't judge anybody based on past relationships. Children may be affecting your love life right now. Okay? And give your relationship a chance. Yeah, this person... Um, you might... Some of you might be in a, a place where you're not welcoming... You're not... You're not welcoming love, you're not welcoming romance, or you're just not, like, you don't give romance a thought, okay? So when this person comes at you, you're probably going to feel the attraction, but give them a chance, okay? Don't just shut them out. Let them come in, let them get to know them. Anything else here? Spirit from the Romance Angels. One more here, and it says, keep an open mind. I, I knew this card was going to come out. This person is going to be different from what you expect, all right? They are definitely going to be different um, in their looks, for one thing. For most of you, this is not going to be somebody who normally you would say, oh, that's my type, okay? However, you're going to be very attracted to this person because there's something about them, the way they carry themselves, the way they dress, something about them definitely draws your attention, okay? Um, but also it could be an age difference for some of you. <sighs> what was the other thing Spirit was saying? Oh, that they may already have children. And this may be something that, um, or they, they may have children that they're still raising is what I'm hearing. Okay. So maybe you thought you didn't want to have children anymore you your children are grown and raised or whatever you know out of the house um keep an open mind about this all right because you've been there you've done that it may be a totally different situation than what you've been in in the past and this is going to happen for you very very soon okay all right let's go ahead and see for money what the enchanted map oracle messages are We're also going to do blessings and things you uh, need to watch out for. Possible issues, okay? I wonder, 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 wonder. Do, 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 the book of love. Okay, see if we can do it this way. Maybe I need to put those below them. I think that'll work better. What do you think, guys? Should I just put this like this? So you can see it? Yeah, we'll do that. All right. All right, let's go ahead and see what Enchanted Map Oracle messages we have. Coming out here, I'm going to take card 6 and 10 for sure. And if Spirit gives me that one, 16, Rescue. Listening. One Ring Circus. Okay, we'll go with those. Intention, 22. Oh, and 44. So doubled twos to 44. All right, let's see what... I guess I need to put them so that you can see what they say. Of course, I need to know the number. So 
22 is intention. What does this tell us about 22? Deliberate, clear intentions have the power to change your world, okay? 15, one ring circus. You are capable and competent. Independence is key now as you step into your journey today. Others may not have the vision or resources that you need. Recognize that all the wisdom that you've acquired along the way makes you particularly competent, capable of moving forward with assurance. Self-reliance is important. Another aspect to consider here is creating and maintaining clear boundaries between you and another person. Be discerning about your partnerships at this time when you know who you are and have a healthy sense of where you end and others begin, then your ships, then you're able to enter into the best kind of relationships and will attract people who mirror back your wholeness. Interdependent relationships are always mutually supportive, stimulating, and transformative. You can achieve anything at this time. I think that's incredible. Um, warning here, message here for you. Um, somebody's hitting a lot of money here. And I know if you win a, like a lottery or scratch off or something like that, you are warned to get a lawyer before you tell anybody, anybody, including your spouse, um, about those winnings, okay, to protect yourself because people change when there's money, okay? So for somebody, that was that message there. For the rest of you, you've got a big, huge abundance coming in. Know your boundaries. Know who you're willing to give to and who you're not willing to give to before um, because you don't need anyone directing you, telling you how to be, you know, what's going on. 53. How to handle your own money, okay? Or your abundance, your happiness, whatever. Listening. An open heart will hear the message. When this card appears, you're being reminded that there is a time to speak and a time to be silent. Definitely. Now is an occasion for listening. Pay attention not only to what is being spoken, but also to what is not being said at the moment. For the deeper message is not always obvious. Somebody may, oh yeah, be careful. Listen with your heart, listen with your intuition, not just your ears, and you will find clarity. Receiving the listening card is a fortunate sign and ensures a greater understanding of your circumstances. All right, and this is 16. So we had 15 and 16. Okay. Let's see here. What is 16? Rescue. You are always safe and secure and free to be yourself. Okay. All right. Those are good messages there for you. So a lot of abundance, a lot of happiness coming in with, it looks like good money. Okay. This is about money and it looks like it's coming your way. Very good blessings here. All right. Let's see what we've got in friendships. What messages do we want to use here? We're going to use the whispers of love. We have card 50. Consider your foundation. Look at how committed you are to love. Hmm. So love in friendships. Number 10, treasure your loved ones. It is important to love others deeply. 50 and 10, both are even numbers. You know, I mean, you know, 47, physical touch, being in alignment. It says a tender touch can mean so much. And 26, New love. Embrace an opportunity for love in your work, prospects, or for spiritual growth. Looking outside of your normal place of meeting people, okay? An expansion. So I was picking up a, a spiritual group, okay? A new tribe. And then number 14, ask for help. What do you really need? Be willing to accept support. So again, this that ties back to... Um, 
looking outside of your normal, opening your mind, expanding your mind to find new places to meet people, to find relationships that are healthy for you, okay? I do want to see what card 50 has to say. It says, consider your foundation. Look at how committed you are to love. Love means committing without guarantees. And love comes in friendships too. In love, we give ourselves completely in the hope it will be lasting. Love is an act of faith. Surround yourself with love and know that your life will be better for it. Strong relationships and love can come from friendship, see? For lasting love, support those you treasure and be a genuine friend. So your relationships are based on affection, common values, and shared respect. Take things slow. It is important not to rush. Release any fears you have about love. If a person brings out the best in you and you in them, then things are definitely on the right track. In the card, there's a couple that embraces as they look at a charming cottage. We see the couple from the back, and this indicates you may not have the full picture. However, there is no need to push or control what is unfolding. The candles in the tree branches bring light and positive blessings to you. It's Yeah, that's a wonderful message there. I absolutely love that. Okay, for career, we're going to go to the... Kipper deck here. So life purpose, career, whatever you do, you know, for your purpose. We have a pathway. Awesome. You are finding your way to what is your highest purpose. You are transforming. Look at those butterflies. You are being guided by your intuition. That is beautiful. And you are in alignment. You've got 11 here. Okay, first of all, I got to point out that this is eight, infinity. Okay, connectedness having everything that you need, trusting that you have everything you need. And then you are in alignment here, okay? And you've got lucky sevens. So this wealth could mean money, but I'm seeing for a lot of you that it, it's speaking of that richness of self, of enlightenment, okay? But there is definitely money here for some. And uh, we've got house, Number 20. And what I'm hearing with this, though, is um, you're finding it's... Okay, a house usually represents a home, okay? Um, and this one's really big. And what I'm getting from this is like a, a an environment of like-minded people. I keep wanting to say community. I know there's a community card in here, and that's why I'm hesitating to say that because I think it's meant to convey something else here. It's like a feeling of rightness, a place of security, a place to go back to, and it has to do with your alignment. It has to do with you trusting your inner power here. So this is like a refuge for you, okay? And that doesn't fit with this. Okay, Spirit's telling me that that's all they want to say about that. Okay. So this is your sanctuary. This is your safe harbor. I did see bad health and thief. And if, if they have any port... Um, anything to do with this whatsoever, it has to do with you, oh, I'm sorry, helping and healing people from those things. That's why Spirit said it was not for this, because I was misinterpreting what they were saying. So that has that's what that has to do with. You helping people to move past those things, things that they were taken from them, helping them to find them again, themselves it could be, okay? Healing, 
When there's bad health, there's healing. All right, so let's see if there's anything else here that Spirit wants to share with you using the Lenormand Kipper deck. Or nope, I don't know if it's the Lenormand. Courthouse, making things right, okay? And distant horizons. So there could be travel involved here. Okay, all right. Let's put those over here for a minute. And for the uh, health portion of this, we are going to refer to the uh, Gilded Reverie. So there is a possibility of motherhood here because we have the Empress and now we have a main female. We have a house again. Okay. And we have time running out. So somebody may be feeling like they need or want to have children. Okay. Um, I do want to point out we have 11 here and it's funny because this says 37, but I kept looking at the card saying it was 47, which is also 11, but we have four and seven here. So there is something about being in alignment, timing. The timing is has has to be right. The timing has to be right, okay? And then the sun will come out. And joy and children, okay? Happiness. Look at that commitment. And sailing into a brighter future. And there's the counterpart. Okay, awesome. I love that. So that looks really good. Some of you are possibly trying to become a parent. And it does look like uh, it is about the timing, okay? And I'm hearing it. I'm hearing that some of you are going to be successful with this. Okay, these are things to watch out for. Okay, things you don't see. You don't see any of this coming, but oh, you should accept valid criticism. I guess I should have done this for each and in each one. I'm not going to do that though. I don't think. All right, so you should accept valid criticism no matter who it comes from if somebody is trying to tell you something and it sounds like they are trying to correct you or guide you in the right uh, direction listen to what they have to say you can always discount it after you listen but it's saying that you should accept it okay pay attention to your work so this is definitely something that you want to pay attention to okay Fire, strong emotion, passionate love, or hate. So we've got a soulmate coming in, so we know there's that. Okay, vulture, depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. And that's coming in here, okay, because of that money. Because of that money that's coming in, there is going to be some concern. All right, these are blessings coming your way. Let's go ahead and see what blessings we have. <laughs> okay I just wanted one more shuffle so that we could get a couple okay there we go thank you I think the fun it's funny that the very first one that came out is nest an emotionally secure loving family is important to you and it came out right here okay right between the two so we have cobweb now, that's funny because during the uplifting reading all about you, we had cobweb, spiderweb. Protected from negative forces beyond your control. That is really good. Carrot, there's an opportunity or a windfall. So there's a windfall here and an opportunity here. Bell, there's an announcement. I'm hearing it. Somebody's going to have a baby on the way. Something good is coming. <laughs> good news. <laughs> And bouquet, compliments from an admirer. Yes, you definitely have a soulmate. You may, a soulmate can come in romantic, friendship, whatever form, okay? And I feel that you, a lot of you have it in both romantic and friendship. But I also see that um, admiration is going to come in here for your life purpose, okay? Really good, really good blessings here. Okay, let's see if we can find out when... Um, 
one month, you may be encountering your new soulmate. Is that happening right away? Or is that something that's going to be down the road? I, I For most of you, I'm hearing it's going to happen within the next two to six weeks. Okay? So we'll see what comes out in the month cards here. All right, Spirit, you're going to give us, and there it is, August for some, okay. I just heard their name might be August. Uh, 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 it's said differently. All right, and November, which just passed, so that, they're telling me here. So if you are starting a business... If you are starting your own life purpose business, or yes, if you're starting your own, okay, November of next year is when you're going to launch. But I'm also hearing that you will encounter your soulmate, friend, business partner, or something. Somebody is going to come in non-romantic, non-romantic, okay? in November of next year to help you with your life purpose. It could be you both do the same thing and you decide you want to open a business together, okay? Or um, even better than that, I'm hearing you're going to get the idea to help each other, like refer people to each other, okay? So you can each work in your field and you're helping people in different areas. Oh, that's cool. It is cool. All right. Let's see when this money might be coming in. February. Big money. February. Okay. Let's see. Anything about the babies? Anybody wanting children, grandchildren? When might that be happening? I was going to say this could be um, conception. Okay. So December. We'll see if there's a, no, all right, thank you, spirit, I just have to look, nine months from now would not be, if they found out in, in December, December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July is eight months. So it, it, that's kind of pretty good confirmation there, okay? Oops. Sorry about that noise. All right. What else have we got here? Um, <laughs> Island time wellness for the... No. No. Sorry. I picked up the wrong card. All right. Um, animal spirits. Spirit animal guides. We, ha we have owl. Look, we have owls. And I've seen owls elsewhere in this reading. There is magic happening in your life. Choose to know the truth because you can. Open your inner vision. You can see through the deceptions. Let the past go and make room for a better life. Rise up. Magic and wisdom are your birthright. That's awesome. That is awesome. Oh, and look, you got dragon supernatural magic. Wow. You are the ancient wise sage. You can shape shift at will. Mastery is your destiny. Rise with dignity, authenticity. Okay, I love that. Somebody is asking for angel answers. So we're going to see what we can get from that. I'm actually going to move these over here so I don't knock them off the table. All right, so if you want to ask specific questions, go ahead and pause the video. If you do not, oh, I just looked at the clock and it was 4444. Okay, so there's an important number for somebody out there. 
If you do not ha um, have your questions ready, just go ahead and pause the video, start it back up when you're ready. Otherwise, I'm just going to give you the messages as they come out. Choose a new direction. Oops, I guess I'm going to have to do that here. I'm hearing that this goes, for those of you interested, that goes with your purpose. Again, remember I was saying um, that you may start with an idea, but then you may branch off from that. That may be what's happening here, okay? For others of you, it's about that timing. Be assertive. That looks like a key to me. And I'm hearing, be assertive with that money, knowing your boundaries, keeping those boundaries. Look, success for everyone, okay? There is success here for everyone. Whatever your question is, the answer is yes, you have success. I mean, this whole reading is about success. Forgiveness. And didn't I say something here about dumping the pot and letting it go? forgiveness okay that has to do with that all right one more peaceful resolution awesome and it's up to you I was told to take that last card. Okay, so it is up to you. Whatever it is you're looking for, that answer is up to you. We are going to roll these alphabet dice. Candy. Can-do attitude. Somebody's beaming. I mean, they are just beaming. There's a wedding cake. Kathy with the C. We got wild. Daphne. Somebody wears boas. Oh, Boaz. Bo Boaz. Oh. Oh, Henry. Candy bar. Oh, Henry Candy Bar, Babe Ruth, baseball, baseball, something about baseball. Um, David and Daniel. I'm hearing a French term. V. v <laughs> it's not right. I took French, and I know vive de jour is not a thing. Um, I don't think it's a thing. Vive de jour? That doesn't even sound right. So maybe somebody uses Latin incorrectly. Okay, so if, or it, it could just be they use a word incorrectly. Okay, but they think they it makes them sound smart using this word, but they use it incorrectly, and you actually find that kind of adorable. All right. Somebody wears a hijab. And somebody is has one. Somebody has one big. Okay. There's something else trying to come out there. Wild. We'll, we'll come back to that, but Carl, Isaac, Isaiah, Noah, the Danube River, X, Xavier, it's my way or the highway, Art Nouveau, X-Ray, Somebody may have x-ray vision or have need of an x-ray or 
somebody adopts strays, stray cats, stray people. Okay, I'm hearing an eon, like an age, a time period. It's been an eon, but I'm also hearing the name Ian and Faye and Lucky. Let's talk. And there, there's definitely a wild energy running through this whole thing. It's like electric is what I'm hearing. It's just like electric. Really good energy here. All right. I love you guys to pieces. Give it a thumbs up. Claim it if you're like this. If this is you, if this is resonating, which I hope it's resonating with each and every single one of you watching this. This is an awesome reading. Okay, check the description box. Subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you join our awesome community. Until our energies cross again, I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.